this is going to be the expression of repo definition so we are left with only one um, type that is uh, sub report we have covered all other things you can refer in my youtube channel so i'm going to uh, explain what is sub report and how we can achieve this sub report is nothing but we already have one report created we want to join that report with our current report so when we will go with this i mean go for this scenario so if i have like one big report and i want to split that uh, kind of uh, writing two queries right if you remember some scenarios uh, what we will do we will fetch the result from one table like uh, select uh, some columns id number and the name from table a and then uh, we will um, do one more query like a select uh, some uh, field from table b and we will uh, fetch the res this result based on the second sub i mean the second uh, uh, result set like this if i go here if i write uh, condition like this So select star from contact. So based on this, what I will do, I will have one more query. Something like this. So based on this, we will have select star from address table like this way and if we have some column from this so based on that column we can put uh, some condition like if we have id column here where id of so address of id is equal to contact.id so this is how uh, we, we do so so we are going to see how we can fetch the uh, set of result from other table I mean the other report and that report we are going to merge with our primary report so that is what we call a sub report I'm going to create uh, one sub report now so we see this is my main report definition where I've created in the address. Now I want to fetch the contact details um, for this uh, report definition. So I already have the contact class. Here I'm going to um, call. So this is going to be my prefix. And here we see FSG data contact we say this and i see we already have a report definition so i'm just going to open this so we are fetching all the result without any condition so this is going to me this is going to give this is a result it is giving name job title primary number primary email all this field it is going to give so i just need some unique column which is i'm going to which is i'm going to use as a uh, key so here i have a reference key here so even in my address table i have a reference key so now i had added this you can open this configure so now i'm going to get more than one row in some scenarios we will be fetching only one row uh, if you are doing some aggregation so we'll be fetching one row so in my scenario it is going to be more than one row and here you see why where we are going to use this uh, sub report result whether we are going to include the columns in the query tab of this address uh, report so i'm going to include this column in the query tab some cases we may use this for the uh, filter condition so here you go if you are using uh, the properties of that sub report here then you have to select that left side of filter condition if you are going to use that here it is going to be right side so based on your requirement you can select this 
here so i'm going to include only column so i'm just going to select this first option and what is the condition so the filter condition i'm going to write is i have already mentioned so i have a reference of t in both the table so i'm just going to queue the references so what see we we do have that same join we are seeing right this is going to be this do not match result so whatever result which is not matching this condition fetch all the result second one include one link a matching rows from both the reports this is our inner join and this is our left outer this is our right outer we already discussed this about so i'm not going to talk about this anymore so i want only the matching result that is inner join you do see this checkbox here ignore filter conditions for the sub reports in this report so if you want this we can enable so in my scenario i don't want this so i'm just going to i mean i just need a filter condition so i'm doing i'm going to keep this uh, not enabled that's it we do have parameter in the sub report but i'm not using that because we have seen here i just removed the parameters check here in case if you are uh, referring that in the filter condition i may need to pass that that's it i'll just do save now now i'm just going to add the field here like this con dot memory email first name i'll be adding only two field now i am going to just do say just run this you see here we are able to fetch the result here so likely we can update this in some cases i want to aggregate this like making the count of or a maximum of we we can use according based on our requirement we can include so this is how this aggregation will work so based on our requirement we can add this and uh, i think i have covered everything in this uh, report definition i thought of talking about only one thing that i didn't cover uh, that is about this display rows using custom section we do have an option to write a section um, to populate this result but the only challenge here is this section you are going to create here it is going to be repeated for every row like uh, here if you go here i have given 10000 result here right so for 10000 result what it will do it will fetch 10000 result and for every result for each and every result it is going to call this section so if we have a requirement like that for each result i want to build something and uh, in the ui want to populate instead of showing normal report definition in that case we can use this so that is why we have this option i can show you example how it works so i'm gonna select this so I'll just give pagination is 50 okay now you can you can see um how many results we had okay i just closed it for each result this section is going to be repeated you see here this is the section so we have seven records we can see this section repeated for seven times so one we can just copy one parameter see seven out of seven so this is how this option will work other than that we have covered everything so i will meet you people with the other topic i think uh, if you need any other information 
or if you want me to uh, try any other functionality in repo definition you can comment me i can try and i can show you how it works i'll uh, meet you people with the different topic